serendipity it was a really great start to the morning thank you all who attended and thank you all for being here if you've decided to watch this vlog if you don't know what draconathon is uh you've really been tuning out or you are new to my channel which is perfectly fine either way i really can't blame you either way however this is going to be a week-long vlog and we are starting on august 1st and going until whenever the next friday is i don't have a calendar to be perfectly honest and i am just using this beautiful day to get started on some books that I'm going to be reading for Draconathon. I am getting two very large books started so that I am able to finish them by the end of the month. So first off, I will be reading physically The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I'm also going to be trying to annotate Rage of Dragons. I'm not annotating any other books because annotating definitely slows me down, but I want to get this book annotated because we have a live show at the end and it'll help me, I think, like remember some of my thoughts going through as I read. This is our group book for Draconathon. I need to make sure that this gets finished and I'm just really excited about it so it was an easy one to start first. I think that this is going to be primarily what I'm reading throughout the month regardless of the other books on my TBR. Expect to see this gorgeous cover quite a bit in these vlogs. While I do have books physically, I do have a lot audibly as well so I will also be throwing on my Bartholomew Orwells and getting some audiobook listening done. Uh, first up, one of the largest audiobooks I have is Uprooted, which is my draconic prompt for, I believe, Idrigo, which is the Welsh or European dragon. Naomi Novik is Polish. It also has a wizard in it. I really lucked out on this book. Uprooted is covering quite a few different prompts, and I'm really excited about it. There's a weird bird making a weird noise in a tree. I'm going to be trying to listen to some of Uprooted audibly, and then I'm also going to read some of Rage of Dragons physically, just to sum up what I've been saying for trying to say over the bird for the past 10 minutes. If you watched my TBR, you will know that I did some stats and in order to finish all of the books on my TBR, I need to read about two and a half hours a day or listen to about two and a half hours a day. It was pointed out to me that that, that math was done without adding in the fact that I do listen to my audiobooks sped up. Hopefully that helps. So I will be reading at least two and a half hours a day, but it would be great if I could get some more hours in to kind of cut down on time at the end as we have quite a few fun activities planned and I know that it might get busy later in the month. This is me really fresh. We don't know what I will look like by even the end of week one. So without any more further introduction, let's get started because I just really, really want to get started and we're going to start with some Rage of Dragons. All right, let's get going. <music> really long like 30 minutes it felt like I got so much more done in Rage of Dragons but I actually only got about like 15 
so many pages in. Uh, I really liked the beginning, like the entire tone starts off really strong. So far, so good on Rage of Dragons. Very strong start. And then Uprooted is really interesting and very, very different. For being two dragon books, very different. It's funny because if I'm just sitting there listening to an audiobook, it's really relaxing to lay out in the sun. But if I'm like talking and interacting, I felt like I was getting overheated. I also couldn't see. But yeah, Uprooted started and it, it had like almost a really like fast start. I felt like a lot of things were happening right off the bat as far as getting the story going and I also think it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of the dragon so far. I'm sure that there is character development. I'd rather start disliking a character and then have that slow build up arc than just like a character right off the bat. Not a strong start for the dragon. Agnishka I think is how it was pronounced in the audiobook. Her friendship, like she has a very close friend. I just, I love that kind of dynamic. It feels like a sister dynamic. It's one of my favorite things. So yeah, I'm really excited about both of these. I need to definitely read more, but I am going to hop in the pool for a little bit longer and then and I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, so. I am inside for now and I actually am going to be getting some ingredients that I need to pick up from the store because fire flakes are happening this week and I was just looking at my different things that I had in my cupboards and I don't have nearly enough of the things that I wanted in order to experiment with the fire flakes. So I really wanna try out sunflower seeds, the pitted sunflower seeds. I think that they would really kind of match as far as them being like little flakes. I have I haven't seen that recipe before and I'm thinking like sunflower, the sun, fire. I, as far as like avatar things go, it makes sense to me. So I really want to try sunflower seeds as one of my different concoctions for recipes. And then I also have seen a lot of people using bran flakes, like cereal flakes, but the only ones I have are like frosted flakes. And I feel like that would taste really weird with the spicy. So in fact, I like know it'll taste weird. If you have tried it and you tried it with the Frosted Flakes, let me know if it tasted good because my gut reaction was no thank you. I guess I was just letting you know that I was getting ingredients and that I am no longer out by the pool. lighting and like 10 p.m. at night. I did end up listening more to Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I was expecting more dragon stuff to be in it. The character who is a dragon, the wizard dude, is kind of annoying. He's a negative Nancy and I really like the main character. She's really cool. I like that she's not this like gorgeous girl or anything like that. She's described as very plain and at one point is called horse faced, which I think is incredibly rude. I also do enjoy a character that's not like this classic idealistic version of the Beauty and the Beast pretty much. I like that she is different, that she appears really timid, also is very stubborn. Yeah, it's a really good combination. I like her. Agnishka. I'm pretty sure that's her name now. They've said it enough stop interrupting me. So yeah, I really like Agnishka and I am not quite used to the dragon. I also don't know where this storyline is going to go. I'm looking at how much time I have left. It's like 15 hours and I'm like, but we're already here. So how are we going to get there? I'm trying not to spoil things, which is why I'm just being real vague. I have way more than two and a half hours under my belt as far as getting through Rage of Dragons and Uprooted. So I'm feeling really good at ending tonight and not reading anymore. I might read a little bit more before bed, but my partner and I are going to watch a show, eat some snacks, and then um, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm ruining my morning shot. Your shot? Yeah, look. There she is. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to do one of those things where it like it fades to black you. and then it w has me waking up and then I make coffee and here you are. <laughs> I can't be yeah, aesthetic no matter what.
morning. It is day two, and we just finished the watch along, the first of two watch alongs today for the Dragon Prince. And oh my gosh, I am so excited. Thank you, everyone who showed up. There was people where it was their first time watching. This show deserves more praise. Like, there is just so much to it. And I admit, I almost didn't watch the Dragon Prince, so Leigh had to talk me into it. I was completely like not interested for no reason whatsoever. I just wasn't interested. But the moment you start it, you, you will understand how great it is and how much it's worth watching. It is packed with diversity, inclusivity. There's just so much in there and it's so heartfelt. Even by episode one, you start to feel like a connection to these characters and watching it back through, there's even more in there that I did not realize the first watch through because I was so focused on trying to learn the world that this time through I could really pay attention to the details. Essentially, just so I can sell you on it a little bit more, Dragon Prince is also by the same creators of Avatar The Last Airbender. It has the voice actor for Sokka also playing playing a major role in this and you have this kingdom with dragons and elves and humans and there's been a war going on but honestly the introduction will give you everything you need as far as the plot goes. I'm just so impressed by everything that this brings forward. It has sign language as people of color. It also has adopted and found families. There is a step sibling in this and I really like how it is dealt with along with of course dragons. There are dragons and this world is just so beautiful. I really really enjoy it. I highly recommend you check out The Dragon Prince. If you didn't watch it with us, that's okay. It's on Netflix. I'm completely sold on it, obviously. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. We have another watch along for it later tonight for the first four episodes. And then next Sunday, we'll do episodes five through eight twice uh, to try and get as many time zones as possible because this was a lot of fun. I am totally willing to do this in like eight hours. <laughs> Whew. Um, so the next thing I have to do is, well, I need to clean my room and I need to finish a bit more of my laundry, but we're going to do sprints later today on Twitter. So I did sprints last night on the Discord and let me just say, I've never done sprints before. Not only have I never hosted sprints, I've never participated in sprints before. So I was incredibly nervous the entire time and I, I mean, the people that joined, we seem to have fun, but... <laughs> I am so nervous to do Twitter sprints because I just, I can see it going wrong. Well, I don't even know what could go wrong because I don't know how to do it right. So if you saw me doing sprints on Sunday, let me know if I suck or if I need to change things or if I'm missing something crucial, important, because I've only just seen it done as like a third party witness. I've never participated or done it before. Let me know so that I can fix it week one. Do not let me know at the end. That will be embarrassing. If I've got food on my face, tell me now. Speaking of food, because I'm doing so much around the house, I'm going to be ordering delivery today. I don't do it very often, but I'm feeling very treat yourself in this moment. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten a lot done in the last few days and I'm just like, you know what? I deserve food. So I'm going to be looking at ordering something and then I'll probably check in after sprints to give you more of my thoughts on both Uprooted and Rage of Dragons. I think I'm gonna listen to more of Uprooted because I was reading some Rage of Dragons this morning. It was really good, very intense, and I can just see myself getting really wrapped up in the world and and not giving enough time to Uprooted, which is my longest audiobook. Today will be very much so dedicated to Uprooted. Once I get at the 50% mark of Uprooted, I'll feel more calm, collected, reassured, and then I'll give more time to Rage of Dragons. As far as Rage of Dragon goes, um, we did talk about this in the Discord. I'm going to be putting something up on Twitter, but there are quite a few trigger warnings that I want to make clear beforehand since it's our group book, and I don't want anyone to feel pressured to read something that they don't feel comfortable reading. Per usual, I'll have my clicker thing going across there where I'll put the trigger warnings. If you don't want to know trigger warnings, don't read that. But yeah, there are quite a few going into it. We've had some really good discussion on the Discord. So again, I mean, the Discord is popping. I suggest the Discord, obviously. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna get some laundry done and then I'll check in with you after sprints.
So I'm pretty sure that I just heard this is possibly a minor spoiler, so if you would like to skip, I'll put a timestamp. So I've been listening to Uprooted, and I just had a moment happen where there was an attempted rape, and it was unsuccessful. However, the reactions of everyone involved was kind of a little ridiculous. The main love interest, I think, is what he is. I'm pretty sure just slut-shamed her. She seemed, uh, of course, reasonably upset, but did not have much of a reaction. It was a very muted reaction. We're getting her internal thoughts because this is a first person's perspective, and I'm like, are you okay? Apart from being a slight amount of shaken, I have made it past that point, and I still haven't had any sort of reaction or anything done about it. It was a weird moment, and I don't think it was challenged properly at all. This might come back later, and it might bite me, because I'll be like, oh, okay, here's the whole thing. But I'm just surprised at how that went down. And it was a little bit ago. I just, I kept on reflecting on it as I was reading. I was like, are we going to talk about this? And no, not really. Nope. So we're going to be doing the second set of episodes one through four for the watch along for Dragon Prince. I've already talked about Dragon Prince enough today. I've been helping my mom move, so I don't know how much filming I'm going to get in tomorrow, but my Fireflake stuff just arrived. I will be doing Fireflake soon, and I'm super pumped for that. Until I have another chance to update, that was day two. I was only supposed to be helping move for one day, but it was definitely two days, and I have been tired. However, good news, I am about 45% of the way through Rage of Dragons, and I only have two hours left. Two. I have to read two and a half hours a day. Two hours left of Uprooted. I am almost done with this book. This is the longest book on my TBR. This is the first week. I am feeling good. <laughs> I am feeling really good about it. I'm gonna do sprints later on. Some people are finishing, like, a lot of dragon books. Some people are having having a hard time reading books. Everyone's at different levels and it's all totally okay. I am just feeling really good because I'm usually not at this level. So yeah, I'm feeling really good about that. Uprooted, I of course just have the ending left. I can say there were a lot of things I really liked about this book. Gorgeously written, beautifully described, a lot of unique ideas. It definitely ramped off from Beauty and the Beast and turned into its own thing. It wasn't just like a classic retelling. There are just a couple things I don't like and it's mostly character related. Related, unfortunately. And I am more of a character-driven reader, which is why I say it's unfortunate, because there are a lot of really cool plot things. I ended up not being as connected to the main character, and I never ended up getting behind the love interest. That was kind of a problem for me. I guess there's still two hours left. They could change my mind, but it would be an active challenge. And then I want to edit a little bit so that I can have this posted on Friday. Also, going to be making fire flakes because the ingredients are in. So then I'm just going to relax and then host this Later. There's the day, there's the update. Let's cut away to Fireflakes. be trying the three different fire flakes I made. Let's start with the mild. Tastes like corn nuts. Is that good or bad? Give it a out of five. It's a three. 
All right, three, got it. Okay, this is the, <laughs> this is the medium. I don't want this. Oh, well, it's the medium. Take a good chunk. <laughs> That's spicier than this, Jade. Oh no! Well, like you, you just took a little cinnamon. You just took a little. <laughs> Take more. That's like a few things that cinnamon spicy. Okay, so I'll just change the labels on those. What is this out of five? The medium, which is now the mild. I'm gonna say three. It says it tastes like like a Taco Bell. <sighs> the twist, the cinnamon twist, crunchy thing. Okay. Interesting. All right, and then the extra spicy. These are the fire flakes, what I am actually basing off the Fire Nation. Are you eating more because you like them or because you have, like, what? What's happening? Can we get a narrative here? Jade, those aren't spicy. What do you mean they're not spicy? Spicy compared to, which ones are the spiciest? I'm gonna say the mild. Like, those have a kick at the end, Jade. <laughs> wow, these mild are actually spicy. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of cayenne. I like these. You like the, the Fire Flake ones, though? The ones that are supposed to be the most spicy? Yeah, they're like vegan Cheetos. Okay. Vegan Cheetos, all right. So what would you give the last ones out of five? I'm gonna give them 4.5. 4.5, I'm gonna take it. 4.5. I'm glad I'm not a cooking channel. Thank you very much. This has been Fire Flakes with Jade. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's the mild Fire Flakes. And you're rating these out of five and... <laughs> and That's you... some salty stuff. Okay, I will... would you give it out of five? Three. Okay, cool. Medium. It's not very spicy. Like, it's not hot, but it's good. Okay. Which one would you say is spicier? The, um, first one. What really... was supposed to be the mild? Yeah, I really... Okay. All right. These are the ones that are actually just supposed to be the fire flakes. Might just They're be... supposed to be the most spicy. I might just be perceiving it as hotter because it's saltier, but... Mm, that's the best tasting out of them. Okay. Good. And I think the hottest. Yay! So okay. the hottest is the hottest? Yes. The medium is just... Milder. What would you give this out of five? That's like a 4.5, that's good. Four. I like the sesame seeds ones. Y'all are super I think the cereal is messing with it. Like the sugar or whatever. Are these frosted flakes? They have sugar already added yeah, to them. Yeah, I think that's what's killing it. You would say that... Those are the hottest. Hottest, which are actually supposed to be the most hot. And then second hottest is actually the one that are supposed that's to be mild. That's salty, it's not hot, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Cool, thank you. Okay, so I have successfully, in various degrees of success, created fire flakes. I'm actually really happy with these because I ended up trying them myself, and I do agree, what I put as mild is definitely the medium, and what I put as medium is definitely the mild. However, I like them all in different ways. I'd maybe add a little less salt, maybe no salt at all. And the brand flakes ended up actually working much better than I thought they would. So I guess that is why they are so popular is because they do taste good and they don't really taste like brand flakes anymore. So I do enjoy them. Yeah, a pretty good conclusion to a week. I finished Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This was for the European global prompt or the wizard prompt. There were a lot of things I ended up really liking about Uprooted, but there were also things that I didn't like about it at all. I ended up really disliking the love interest. I never ended up getting behind it. The scenes though, the love interest scenes, the scenes were really good. If I had more investment in those two characters actually working out, I would have been in love with this book. If you haven't picked up Uprooted and you're willing to give the romance a try, then you might end up really enjoying this book. I think I'm really leaning into my 3.5 star for the book. I'll probably give it a four on Goodreads just to round it up. I don't think it's a three star, but I definitely wouldn't say it's a four star, so I'm making it super clear right now. It's a 3.5 for me. I could see if I was tired by the end of the month, me really dragging my feet on finishing it, and it was a 17 hour long audiobook. I think that's part of also the reason why it's a 3.5 is when I invest that much time I tend to really gauge like 
what you can accomplish in that much time. And honestly, it was pretty impressive how much got done plot-wise, but there were a couple parts that I felt dragged or weren't as important. I would say that my favorite aspect of the book as a whole was the forest. That forest was creepy. It was really instinctual in how I was understanding how the forest worked. I think I'm going to do a forest themed book recommendation video. If I'm being honest, the inspiration behind that will definitely have to be uprooted. I am almost 50% of the way through, thank goodness for sprints, Rage of Dragons, and that is an amazing book. Rage of Dragons could possibly be a new favorite for me. I understand part of the reason why it was given some Game of Thrones vibes, but don't think of Game of Thrones as like the larger universe of Game of Thrones, but really focus in on Arya's story and you'll see why some of those comparisons are being made. But it's very much so just its own thing. I really, when reading it, can't compare it to anything. I love the main character. I feel like he has a cinnamon roll that got wrong. Is very complex in the fact that he is growing up in a warrior-based society, and he is by no means that way. You understand his character as you go along. I <laughs> am always down for a good fight sequence, and I've gotten several, so if you like fighting sequences and training academies and all that kind of stuff, you're really gonna like this book. It's good, and you know what? I'm like, I'm in it for the revenge too. This is very much so an adult novel, Novel with lots of graphic violence and stuff like that but wow it is satisfying to read as an adult reading this book and being like they have it coming to them and I'm gonna get satisfied in that yeah now that I've terrified everyone into thinking I like death and destruction I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I'm going to be vlogging once a week so uh, you can check out our live show that is happening tomorrow on Saturday it'll be over on Soleil's channel with Madison Mary of Princess of Paperback they'll be talking about dragon related things doing some reading sprints I will not be there myself it is my little siblings birthday is having their birthday and they need to bask in all of their Leo glory so I will not be filming I won't on live shows I'll be completely off the internet for them feel free if you made it through this entire vlog to wish D a happy birthday and let me know if you created any fire flakes or if you're going to create fire flakes they're really good I will definitely be snacking on these for a couple of days and tell me what ingredients you used we also have a discord where there's an entire recipe section so feel free to add it there all the information will be down below and I hope you are enjoying the Sun or more stars wherever you are and until next time bye <music>